When I entered the Digital Leadership Academy, I couldn't believe what was happening. I was flabbergasted. Normally in the districts that I came from, teacher leaders were the ones who were seen as our digital leaders. And here in our district, we were asking all of the administrators, both at district level and campus level, to become that digital leader. But I could totally see right away how becoming an instructional leader and a digital leader at the same time merged together perfectly. So it made perfect sense to me. But I was just really surprised with all that they were asking of us to do. Within the first three hours of the Digital Leadership Academy, I walked away with three new skills. And those were tweeting, blogging, and creating a Weebly. And those three things helped me have a platform for communicating to more people that I was trying to reach. So instead of going and meeting with each group to talk about one thing in particular, I could put it on one of those three venues and communicate to many people at the same time. So that's helping me get my message and our philosophy and our procedures out to all of the teachers in the district in a more effective way. One of the main things I do here in the district is to plan with teachers. So we sit down and we map out our curriculum for a unit at a time. And while we're doing that, we look at the standards and we figure out what we need to teach. We think about what our delivery might look like and what kind of activities the students might do. But now after going through the Digital Leadership Academy, it's helped me ask more questions. I'm much more cognizant of asking questions like, what can we do, how can we bring technology in to enhance this lesson? Some examples are instead of having the kids write in a reader's response journal, they might blog their ideas instead. So what we're trying to do is think about what skills they might, may need in the workforce and bring those into the classroom while the teacher is there to support them.